Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Jay Crash in the car here and today we're going to run down my top 10 most overrated films. Not necessarily bad films or films that I hate in particular, just films that I feel are overrated. I base this on their position on the IMDb top 250 list. All but two of these films are on the IMDb top 250, so I'll go down the list of the films and I'll give you the position on the IMDb top 250 and then you tell me. Here we go, number 10, Snatch. I am not a huge Guy Ritchie fan. I find his films to be just overly plot driven. Uh, I mean, so many little plot twists, hints, things there that they're almost impossible to keep track of. And then you couple that with the dialogue that's happening when you're trying to piece together the film. The, some of the dialogue in his films is almost impossible to decipher. And this film with the animated characters and everything, I just found it to be really annoying. And it's number 105 on the IMDb Top 250. All right, number nine, Wolf of Wall Street. Number 148 on IMDb. I love Martin Scorsese films. I don't even necessarily dislike this film. It's just to find it this highly acclaimed and voted for just to me seems crazy considering some of his films that are left off this list. Not a bad film, but I found it to be just kind of overly stimulating, a lot of yelling, very loud film. Funny at times, not a bad film, but I would probably give Wolf of Wall Street a six. All right, number eight is Warrior. This is a film from a few years back. It's number 154 on the IMDb list. This film stars Tom Hardy, Nick Nolte, and I like, of course, both of those actors. Tom Hardy, I really thought he was great in Bronson, and Nick Nolte, I mean, you can't say enough about Nick Nolte. He actually got a nod for this, but unfortunately, he was hardly in the film. And this is a film that, that to me, is overly manipulative. It just relies on every cliche in the book. We have this military guy who who's lost everything and everybody shitted on and then we have the school teacher and then their brothers and they go in this MMA uh, fight contest and then they end up facing each other I mean you could just see where this film goes I can't say this is a horrible film Nick Nolte does a great job and Tom Hardy's a great actor but I mean to call this film one of the top 250 films uh, of all time to me is, is crazy, and I will call it out at that. All right, number seven, sure to piss a lot of people off here, it's Django Unchained. This is number 62 on the list. I like Quentin Tarantino. I had a lot of hype when I went in to see this film. I was looking forward to it, and I was pretty let down by the film. Can't say that I didn't, you know, appreciate the film, and, and I found it entertaining, but to call it one of the, the top 62 movies of all time to me is, is crazy. I feel that it's overly drawn out. It lacks some of the raw tension that Tarantino's known for. It seems to be like a love fest with himself at the end. And, and I love a good ending shootout. But it's just, it's so over the top. And it takes like the wild bunch to the next level. And I know... Tarantino's paying homage to that. I could get into a whole discussion about Django, but I just find it to be overrated. Not that I didn't think it was an okay film. All right, number six, Annie Hall. This film is not on the IMDb Top 250, but you're gonna find it on a lot of the great American films lists. Now, I don't mind Woody Allen. In fact, I appreciate his writing. He's one of the best screenwriters in, in Hollywood and, and probably in the, in the history of Hollywood. He's very acclaimed. I find his, the films that he does not act in the ones that I'm drawn to. Now, I liked Blue Jasmine a lot. I thought Midnight in Paris was a good film. Uh, Match Point was a good film, but it's the films that he tends to star in and it's just I don't mind self-deprecation and self-deprecating humor 
But when it gets to the point of, of sniveling and whining, it's just, I, I can't take it. And this is a very New York film. It's characters in the coming out of this beatnik generation, transition of the 60s and 70s. Interesting film, but to me, highly overrated. Number five, this will piss some people off, but it's Forrest Gump. This film is number 13 on the IMDb Top 250. And I can respect Forrest Gump, but to me, it's a highly manipulative film. It's a film that after a few views, I started to feel like the film was talking down to me, like it was making me relate to Forrest and his lack of mental capacity, quote unquote. And I felt the film was just a very manipulative film and it does it well. I'm not gonna take anything away from, from the film on that level. It knows what it's doing. It knows how to pull on your heartstrings. It has great music to it. It's a good concept with what they did, but to me it's an over manipulative film and is just overrated on that basis. Okay, number four is a film you also won't see on the IMDb list, but it's Royal Tannenbaums. This is a cult film, and I, I hate to single out a cult movie because I really kind of wanted to go after more of the popular movies that I felt were overrated. But this, I'm hit or miss with Wes Anderson. Some of his stuff I like. I, I enjoyed Moonrise Kingdom. I thought Life Aquatic was pretty cool, but Royal Tannenbaums to me, it's just a film that the characters annoy me so much. I just don't connect with the humor of it entirely, although I can always appreciate Wes Anderson's set design and, and the tone of his films, but this film to me, I just, I don't get it and I think it's highly overrated. Okay, moving on to number three, it's Mad Max Fury Road. This film came out a couple of years ago. I was really excited to see it. I love The Road Warrior. I like Mad Max a lot, the original. Thunderdome's pretty cool. But after the first visual coolness of Mad Max Fury Road, it just, to me, it just falls apart. It starts to be just an onslaught of CGI images. I think some of the concepts are cool. I thought the villain was cool, but this film, to me, to put it up in the top IMDb 250 is, is, is just crazy. It, it was a film that I think blew people away with some of the visuals, but in the end just came down to it really didn't have much of a story. It became tedious. The violence and the action after a while was just, it, once I get overstimulated to a point with the, the violence, it's like I could be watching anything. It's just like I, I'm desensitized to it. It's just flying by me and I really, uh, I can't even connect anymore. All right, number two is The Deer Hunter. This is number 170 on the IMDb list. This is not a bad film. In fact, it has some of the most well-known scenes in film history, namely the Russian roulette scene with Robert De Niro and Christopher Walken. It's a film with a good cast, but it is so takes so long to set up the transition and I understand what the director was going for and I like slow moving films but to me it's just the deer hunter it loses me every time and it loses me before we get into the jump into the Vietnam environment and it always loses me up to then and I know that's sort of the point of the film but to me it just it's overrated although it's worth a viewing just to see Okay, number one, surely this will piss a lot of people off. It's Inception. This is the Christopher Nolan film. It's ranked number 15 on the IMDb list. When Christopher Nolan puts out a film, it automatically gets in like the top 25 list of IMDb. He's got a ton of, of movies there. Dark Knight, Interstellar, Memento. Some of these films, yeah, I mean, they're, they're good films. Christopher Nolan doesn't make a bad film, in my opinion. But I found Inception to be overly tedious, overly crammed with 
the inertia of these battle scenes of dreams within dreams and which dream were we in and what were we trying to do who are we trying to manipulate and then you would get these little flash crams of information from the ellen page character and well dreams within dreams and they would explain it to you and then you go back into these other dreams and it reminds me of an older film called dreamscape which i thought was a cool film but it was a film that is kind of building up to this climactic finish and and the ending was to many this wow moment but i kind of you could kind of feel the whole way this film was going to end and it just felt like it took way too long to get there if this film was trimmed down about 30 minutes i might have done better with it Anyway, those are my top 10 most overrated films based on the IMDb Top 250 list. And surely I'll piss some people off here. Again, not films I think are horrible films or films that I, I even hate. I mean, I could get into a whole thing about the films I hate. I, I don't want to uh, be negative, but these are just films when you look at the list and you think of all the great cinema. And when you see these films occupying these these spaces on the IMDb list, which is a popularity contest, let's face it. I mean, I looked on there last and Avengers Endgame was like fucking number four on the list. So figure it out. But anyway, folks, take care. I'll see you out on that highway. Thanks for joining me today. Leave your comments and the films that you feel are the top overrated films. Take care.